Howdy, 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 my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading Pisces for June, darling, all right? So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, all right? And be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Pisces, to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific. But uh, enough of all this introductions, darling. Let's just get straight to your tarot reading here today, Pisces, all right, darling? So let's see what's going on with you, Pisces. Page of Pentacles coming in here with the Eight of Pentacles, as well as the Knight of Wands coming in here. King of Wands in the back of the deck as well. All right. So for you guys right now, Pisces, I get this sensation that someone's building up the courage and reaching out to you here. This gives me very much so like an extroverted energy or someone that ends up being extroverted once you get to know them more, all right? Someone's extending out to their pentacle to you in regards to communication in hopes to take things to the next level with this eight of pentacles here, all right? Um, some of you guys as well, can, uh, Pisces, this does remind me on some level of uh, Cancer's reading in some ways with different cards because some of you guys might end up getting some type of promotion all right, where you end up taking more of a leadership role in your life. For others of you, Pisces, you might have been contemplating on some type of new career path, some type of way of new way of uh, manifesting money into your life here that's more passion oriented. Perhaps you've been thinking about opening up your own storefront, your own business. Maybe you wanted to start creating content, for example, right? I get this sense for some of you guys just wanting to take more control of your finances of the events like it's like the sense for you uh pisces that you want to start taking feeling like you have more control of your life that you have more say of your life and what happens and who comes into your life as well all right and a social dynamic i do get this sensation where it's like some type of extroverted energy um or someone that's just very like just very passionate perhaps uh pursuing you from a place of wanting to um get to know you more to connect with you more right when you have that eight of pentacles in a social dynamic it's like wanting to take things to the next step wanting to become best friends wanting to close off that distance and make things no longer acquaintances but friends or even relationships darling all right but relationships i feel like it's a very small percentage i get more so it's like this energy just wants to be around you going back into career Pisces, I get this sensation for you guys where the more that you lean into what you personally feel passionate about, that's where the success lies. All right. Don't make your business decisions or how you make your money. Choose how you start creating more finances in your life. Don't make it based off the decision being like, oh, I think this will be successful. All right. Because that's not how something's going to be successful in your life, Pisces. How things start becoming successful in your life is by you really going deep with what you personally feel extremely passionate about. Maybe it's doing tarot, all right? Um, you can't have, you can't assume that you will know the outcome of a situation because in a, in a way that's an insult to your spiritual team and the capabilities that they have going on, right? You just need to worry about what it is that you want to do. You're, allow your spiritual team to handle uh, the, the details of it, all right? You have here the Hierophant energy, the Four of Pentacles, as well as the Moon energy coming in here. All right. And so Pisces, what I get going on for you guys here, once you finally start... Yeah. In a relationship type of way, I feel like you guys need to start getting more comfortable, Pisces, with the idea of letting people in. Because I do see some resistances in that way for you, all right? This Hierophant is considered in the reverse for you guys. So that's where I see the, like, the this, like this sense of where you're telling yourself or you know that on some level that you're not ready for a relationship. That you're not ready to get out and take on more responsibility in the workplace here. But I want to challenge you in that, Pisces. Do you feel like you're not ready for that because you're telling yourself that you're not attractive enough or talented enough here? Or do you just, you know, like, you know, we don't need to we don't need to go doctor phil on this darling right but i just want to challenge your perspective and like why it is that you feel like you're not ready 
all right if you feel like you're not ready just because it's foreign uh territory for you i mean darling that's just reality that's just life all right you need to get out of your comfort zone by you getting out of your comfort zone that's how you grow you don't grow by staying in your comfort zone but it's like y'all are being too just like y'all are just like so dismissive of any energy that you could really put your roots into that would be really beautiful for you for the long term because i get like the same message where it's just like oh i'm not ready you know like it's like you don't believe how other people are perceiving you all right so it's like even if someone comes at you pisces and you're like oh hey pisces i would like to be i, I want to get to know you more and then your response is being like no you don't <laughs> like that's what i feel like goes down for you pisces you're just like mm, no you don't you don't actually want to invest in me you don't you don't want to get to know me you know and then it's just kind of at that point where it's just like well i mean okay you know pisces you have to you know i'm gonna be very this is gonna step on some toes here pisces all right but it's so unfair for you you know and this is to anybody right it's so unfair when you are insecure it is so unfair to everyone else around you for you to project your insecurities onto them all right you're making your insecurities the reality for everybody else all right and so when you are like so down about yourself and other people are trying to just get to know you connect with you more and you start projecting your insecurities onto them and you're just like no like i'm not a good person like you think you like me but you don't or what have you like that's a lot of that's a lot of baggage to just take on all right not a lot of people are going to fight for that not a lot of people are like it, it becomes like it takes too much effort it becomes in a way it's so draining uh to the other person when you when someone's so insecure with themselves that they are obsessed borderline obsessed with sabotaging anything that's good in their life sabotaging any type of new energy all right so i want to ask like i want you to ask yourself the question pisces are you sabotaging things in your life all right and then it's just like after you end up sabotaging these relationships in your life you start you finally push everybody away and then you just have the audacity pisces to just sit there and be like oh see like no one loves me no one cares about me see they all walked away and it's just like well pisces you're the one that pushed them away all right you can't expect everyone to just fight you through all like you have to just put like take yourself out of the situation and put it put yourself in their shoes all right well yes you might sit there and argue be like well they should fight for me you know they should want like whatever but it's just like darling like you know this is this is this is real life all right this is real life if if your boss comes to you and he's like oh hey you want a raise and you say no i'm not worthy of a raise you really think that boss is gonna sit there and try to convince you to take more money 99 percent of people are not going to do that all right and so you can't expect people to know what it is that you want because by you pushing them away you're sending them the signal that you don't want them that you don't want that race that you don't want that friendship that you don't want that relationship all right so they're assuming because you're an adult they're assuming that you're vocalizing what it is that you want we're not no one's a mind reader darling even though some people try to pretend to be no one's a mind reader and so you need to put that in perspective there like are you the one that's rejecting love in your life and creating yourself a self-fulfilling prophecy where you are feeling forever alone all right so we have coming in here for you now pisces the knight of cups the ace of pentacles coming in here as well as the nine of wands pisces 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 all right darling i'm going <laughs> i'm going to just be very brutally honest with you darling at this point in time because this is literally the dynamic where someone offers you you someone offers you with this knight of cups their cup right someone offered like this is literally like a dynamic in a career type of way literally someone offering you a raise offering you money all right someone's offering you a, a opportunity to um stabilize this relationship more to ground this relationship more all right and then you're sitting over here as this nine of wands is staying back in your same routines blocking love blocking good things blocking blessings in your life 
just so you can go back and go to that self-fulfilling prophecy be like oh nobody loves me like i have nothing good happening ever happens to me and it's just like pisces you are literally blocking it you are literally blocking it i don't want to hear the excuses pisces of being like i've been hurt in the past people have like betrayed me like or like you know i've fallen you know it's like darling we all fall off that bike when we learn how to ride a bike only difference is not everyone takes it personally when they fall off that bike they get back on that bike and keep on trying all right some of you guys pisces again i'm gonna step on some toes but i don't care because this is literally what some of y'all need to have that wake up call and i'm saying this out of love all right i say this completely out of love but some of you guys pisces are so addicted to this victim complex some of you guys are so addicted to being sad and not having good things happen to you because you feel like you're not worthy because you're just in, like really is insecurity whatever i don't care what the excuse is and so you need to cut that addiction all right you're not going to have you're not going to get a different outcome by staying by doing and acting in the same way there's not going to be a prince or princess charming that comes around that's just going to magically fix you all right if you're wanting different outcomes, if you're wanting blessings into your life, if you want these good things to happen, you need to receive it. You need to not argue with it. You need to stop self-sabotaging when good things start trying to come into your life, Pisces. And it's definitely coming. It's definitely in the works here for you. But you need, it's like you just have like, tr like, like either you have trust issues, attachment issues, abandonment issues, insecurity. It's like you have some issue, darling, or maybe it's all of above. All right. And that's like, it's on one level, it, it, it is okay. That makes you human. We all go through those struggles. All right. So don't feel personally attacked by it. But it's just like, that doesn't need to be your identity for the rest of time it doesn't need to be your identity where you never have anyone that tries to get close to you like don't make it a personality trait in denying love and denying good things all right you don't need to, like stop trying to be the eeyore of your life right it's like you have this self-fulfilling prophecy of make like forever being eeyore when you easily could transition it into tigger if you wanted to but it's com like it, it sounds weird but it's just like for you you're comfortable like your comfort level right now is being sad for some of you guys your comfort level like it's comfortable to you you like when you get disappointed by people that's your that's what you're used to so you're just like it's easy for you to brush it off but then it's not even easy for you because then you like during the late at night you start feeling sad when you watch certain movies when you listen to certain songs that's when you get in your feelings and so you start convincing yourself that you're okay right you, in your noggin you start telling yourself that like you put there's so much denial here Pisces oh my gosh all right <laughs> listen Pisces all right I'm not one about self promo darling but if you like if this resonates with you darling and uh you want to unpack this you want to figure this out darling you, you need to email me darling all right so we can get into a private reading we can get into a private consultation unpack this because i could go on for this for about 30 more minutes if i wanted to all right so i'm gonna just leave this here all right i feel like i've beaten you guys up enough verbally um i hope this gave you the wake-up call that you needed pisces all right you are beautiful you need to start believing in it all right because i like listen i'm the type of person darling right if i compliment a friend if i say "Ooh, friend you look so beautiful right now you look so cute friend and they're just like no like i'm ugly right now or whatever i'm not gonna argue with it i'm gonna be like oh okay and that's i'm just leaving it like that because it's so draining to try to convince someone to receive a compliment like i wouldn't just give a compliment to you if i didn't want to give that compliment to you and in a way it's insulting to me when you deny that compliment because then you're just saying that i don't know what i'm talking about or whatever you know so just to give you some perspective pisces all right it may not be the case that people don't want to get to know you it may not be the case that people don't want to love you it may just be too draining to get you to believe in it and to get you to receive it, darling. All right. So that's the reading that I have for you today, Pisces. All right. If this tarot reading resonated with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below. All right. I say this all with love. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, simplyvelka.com. Be sure to follow my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, simplyvelka, same as here. And then Pisces, I'll see you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.